Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Amy Sue Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dadagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Titignan na natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Joseph is a BS Information Technology graduate from PUP. He is also an aspiring and passionate artist for media and entertainment. Nard is a third-year mathematics education student at UP Diliman, currently serving as a college representative to the University Student Council and is multilingual. Paulito is a digital filmmaking graduate of De La Salle College of St. Benilde who finds vlogging an interesting way to improve his skills in filmmaking and storytelling. And Ivan earned a degree in tourism at Centro Escolar University and is a budding entrepreneur. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Wendell Kapili of the Department of English and Comparative Literature, College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! Let's begin. Joseph, in chess, what piece moves in an L-shape? Horse. Malay, knight. Nard, what is a young bear called? K-check. Paulito, what element has a symbol O? Oxygen. K-check. Ivan, what is the square root of 121? Malay, 11. Joseph, what element has a chemical symbol C? Carbon. K-check. Nard, how many centimeters are there in one meter? 100. K-check. Paulito, in chess, what piece moves only in diagonal directions? Horse. Male, Bishop. Ivan, what is the chemical symbol for gold? AU. Joseph, what number is exactly between 12 and 16? 14. What, uh, Nard, what is the chemical symbol for the element sodium? N-A. K-check. Paulito. What is the cube root of 27? 7. Male. 3. 3. What is a male chicken called, Ivan? Rooster. K-check. And that's it for our first round, the K-check paramihan round. Professor Wendell at Professor Le Ricky, since kayo ang pinakabagong members ng ating K-check panel, naabot ba ang expectations ninyo sa ating contest? Uh, sa akin, maganda naman yung kinaratnan. Uh, mukhang tropa lang sila. Uh, kahit nasa competition, sabay-sabay na matututo. That's good. Para sa akin, uh, they're having so much fun while they're part of a game. They make sure that they're enjoying the whole experience. So that's more important to me. It's Thank wonderful. you. Ako namang ako para kay Nard, di ba? Multilingual ka. Ano mga languages ang alam mo, Nard? Yan, aside po sa Filipino English, um, maroon din po ako ng konting surigaw nun at nag-aaral ako currently ng Korean. Hmm, sige nga, ano sa Korean ang karunungan check? Karunungan. English na lang po. Knowledge check! Tama naman. Knowledge check, K pa din. K check. And now let us do a recap of our round one. Taking the lead is Nard at 13 points. He is followed by Joseph, Paulito, and Ivan at 10 points. Kayo, ilan ang nasagot ninyo sa ating round 1? Tuloy 
patuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Nauna si Nard with 30 points, si Joseph, Paulito at Ivan ay may 10 points. Professor Neil, may tanong ka daw for Ivan. Pinanggit kanina sa intro na ikaw ay isang budding entrepreneur. Baka gustong malaman namin kung ano yung mga negosyong pinagkakaabalahan mo ngayon. Uh, yes po. Um, gumagawa po ako ng mga brownies and I also bake cakes. I do it for part-time only. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Para sa mga mag- magkaroon ng ganyan. Oo nga, nakakaguto. Ikaw naman, Ikaw. Joseph. Passionate ka raw sa media and communication. Bakit mo naman naging passion niya? Um, it started on just a school project nung high school. Parang katuwaan lang with my friends na gumawa ng film. And ayun, ever since sumali na kami ng mga contest um, within local and internationally. And parang matutuwa ako just to act and portray the characters to give it a life. Mukhang aspiring actor si Joseph. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! Let's begin. Located southeast of Metro Manila, what is the largest lake in the Philippines? Nard? Laguna de Bay. Okay, check! Next question. In what country was Ferdinand Magellan born in 1480? Portugal. Polito, yes. Okay, check! In the film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, what is the flowery, flowery title of the song by Sway Lee and Post Malone? Joseph? Sunflower. Okay, check! In what city was the Kadayawan festival, festival opened at Magsaysay Park last August? Nard? Bacolod? Okay. Ang tamang sagot ay Davao City. Okay, our next question. In what card game by Mattel do you shout the Spanish word for one if you have one card left? Yes, Paulito? Uno. Okay, check! Wow! What present-day country was once known as Siam? Nard? Thailand. Very good. Okay, check! The great singer George Michael teamed up with Andrew Ridgely to form which duo known for the hit song, Wake Me Up? Yes, Ivan. One. Okay, check. What is the local name of the cool northeast wind that blows in the Philippines usually? Yes, Nard. Amihan. Okay, check. For our next question, known as the Wizard of Menlo Park, which American inventor is credited with more than 1,000 patents, including the light bulb? Yes, Paulito. Sorry guys, you did not make it. The correct answer is Thomas Edison. In 2016, John Arcelia received the FAP Best Actor Award for portraying... Yes, Joseph? General Luna. The correct answer is Antonio Luna. Okay, check. Yay! <laughs> What is the present name of the former capital of South Vietnam, Saigon? Yes, Ivan? Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, check. Once the most popular in the U.S., what dog breed includes the name of a Canadian province? That's our last question, by the way. And the correct answer is Labrador Retriever. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Mukhang halos lahat sila ay nakasagot sa mga tanong na yun, ano? Paulito, nagpa-vlogging ka daw. Bakit mo ginagawa yan? Well, for me, vlogging is another way of documenting. And documentaries are a tool when it comes to sharing 
and capturing real life people, um, cultures, and experiences. Mm, may pera ba sa vlogging? Sa tingin mo? <laughs> Depende po sa parents. <laughs> Depende sa parents. So, tatama naman yun, no? So, malalaman natin kung paano mag end itong labanang ito until we get to our ultimate pagalingan round up next here on K-Check! Welcome back! Let us now look at our current ranking. On the lead is Nard at 80 points, followed by Joseph and Ivan at 50 points, and very close is Paulito at 40 points. We'll find out kung sino ang magiging champion sa ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan, where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winners. Contestants, let's begin! Let's begin! Prof. Wendell, question number one please. Question number one, who holds the record for most number one hits in the history of the Billboard Hot 100 Hits? Michael Jackson. Okay. Ivan. Madonna. Mali. Nard. Taylor Swift. Mali. Ang tamang sagot ay Beatles. So kung naalala niyo yung mga, mga awit tulad ng Here, There, and Everywhere or Yesterday, uh, medyo nakaligtaan kasi masyadong bata ang ating mga contestants. Pero Beatles is, is, is the correct answer. Thank you. Prof. Ricky, question number two please. Uh, in material science, what are considered as the three major classes of materials? Nakikita natin to sa mga gamit natin. Ito ay metals, ceramics, and polymers. Prof. Neil, question number three, please. Oslo is the capital of which European country? Ivan. Norway. Ito ay ang kabisera na isang kaharian sa hilagang Europa. Ito rin ang pangunahing lungsod sa isa sa pinakamayamang bansa sa buong mundo. Ang tamang sagot, I know we key check. Thank you. Prof. Wendo, question number four, please. Question number four, which Philippine variety show is the first to be franchised in another country? Itbulaga. Ang Itbulaga ay isa sa longest running uh, show sa history ng Philippine television. So, key check. Prof. Ricky, next question. What do you call the layer that absorbs almost all Ultraviolet radiations. Ivan. Ozone. Dapat natin pangalagaan to? Yes, ozone layer. Prof. Neil? In 2016, who became the first individual to receive the NBA Most Valuable Player Award by unanimous vote? Ivan. Kobe Bryant? Mali. Eight-time NBA All-Star, um, four NBA championships, two-time NBA MVP. Ang tamang sagot ay Stephen Curry. Prof. Wendell, next question. Question is on April 14, 1969, the 41st Annual Academy Awards were broadcast live to a television audience in 37 nations. Which multimedia artist tied with Katherine Hepburn for Best Actress. Walang 
nakasagot. So ang tamang sagot ay si Barbara Streisand. Prof. Ricky. Sa chemistry, which quantum number gives the shape of an electron's orbital? Ito ay nagbibigay ng magandang mga pictures ng ating atoms. This is called a zimothal quantum number. Prof. Neil, next question. Which two animals can be seen on the Philippine coat of arms? Nard. Lion and eagle. So, nakabatay ito sa flag, Admiralty Code of the Philippines, 1998. Ang nakikita nating dalawang hayop sa ating coat of arms ay ang American bald eagle at ang Spanish lion rampant o kaya eagle ang lion. So, K-check. Prof. Wendell. Ang tanong, Christopher Columbus was among the last explorers to reach the Americas. Ang tanong, what was his nationality? Polito. American. Okay. Nard. Portuguese. Mali pa rin. Ivan. British. Mali pa rin. Ang tamang sagot ay Italian. Prof. Rigi. Sa question naman tayo ng biology, what do you call a cluster of genes that are transcribed together to give a single messenger RNA or mRNA molecule? Okay, lalo na ngayon sa pandemic, dapat alam natin itong mga impormasyon na to. It's called OPERA. Prof. Neil? Um, last question, what 1954 battle in what is now Vietnam ended French colonization in Southeast Asia? Ivan. World War. Nard. The Vietnam War. Paulito. The Cold War. Pinangunahan ni Ho Chi Minh ang paghihimagsik laban sa mga Pranses. Nangyari ang labanan sa Dien Bien Phu. So ang tamang sagot ay Battle of Dien Bien Phu. Thank you so much, Prof. Neil. And that's it for the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that's it for the K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Nard, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 65 points. We'll see Nard again on Friday when he competes with our daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Thanks to Joseph, Olito, and Ivan for joining. To the members of our panel of experts, Professor Wendell, Professor Ricky, and Professor Neil. This is Amy Sue Martinez. And I am Janella Bork. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -Check.